I am back with more swag. Um, had some geocaching fun today with the family. We went to a park. Um, the name of it will be in the description. Um, but we found seven caches. One we did not find. It was a four-star difficulty. We spent a while looking for it. Um, hopefully we didn't disturb it. And we just kind of looked over it. Um, but here are some of the caches, the treasures that we found in some of the caches today. Um, the fishies over there, which suits real well because it was right next to the river. So they were next to the water source that they need. Um, there's also the ceramic, cute little mouse my daughter found she wanted to keep. Um, spiders. I don't know if this one glows in the dark or not. I guess we'll find out tonight. There was also a horse, and yes, I did wash these up. That was pretty dingy when getting it out of the muck. Um, a lot of the caches were in really good shape, though. They weren't really wet. It was just a bunch of dirty toys that they probably dropped in the muck. There was a purple heart slinky. Not the kind that would go down the stairs, but could hold a good sized deck of cards in there. Um, looks like a little blind bag type of Aurora doll. I don't know if that's big with your kids. It's big with my daughter. And we don't. We usually only find them in caches because I won't spend three dollars on a little tiny toy like that. I'm cheapy. Sorry. We also found this. We didn't find it today. Uh, my daughter said she found it in um, Happy as a Clam Cache. It was kind of a neat cache. You have to look it up and find it. It is. I, I gave it a favorite point. It was really creative. Got the kids thinking and counting and to open it. It was really neat. Um, here is a... <laughs> I don't know if they have names. I, I, it's from the Angry Birds. It's one of the green pegs. I know that. You're supposed to slingshot them. I didn't re really get into them. This one has like a beard, so I don't know if each... Um, green pig has its own little name. You could let me know in the comments. We'll find out, I guess. She also found my daughter. She traded for a couple of these. There's a pink one. I dropped it, so I'll have to find it before school starts because she needed uh, one of these. It was on the list. A uh, sharpener with a pen. Or, sorry, a sharpener with a lid. Getting tongue tied here. But I'll probably replace these and keep the one that I bought because I do a lot of drawing. Um, with my wood, wood burning stuff. I also found this cute puzzle. And October is coming up, so I'll probably put it in another cache. But here it is, all put together. Um, but I'll take it apart and put it back in the box and stick it in a cache. But I did sign. I'll sign the back of it um, with our geocaching name, the date we found it, and probably mark the cache that I found. I do remember what cache we found it from, so I looked up that and right down there. We also found this cute little cat. My daughter didn't want to trade for it, but I thought it had a cute face. I'm going to put it in, probably put a keychain around it, and then send it back onto a cache. I don't know. It's probably the company that made it. I don't know. Um, here's a couple more things that we found in the cache. Some Pokemon cards. My daughter didn't want this, so we're going to... Put that in another cache with Pokemon Go being big. Someone will probably snatch that up. I don't know if it means anything, that card. She probably doesn't want it because it doesn't mean anything. I also found this paper. I normally don't take little artworks out of the cache, but I thought that was very colorful and unique. And I can turn it into... Hopefully I'm not ruining someone's artwork. And they're getting disappointed over it. So if you see it, I'm sorry. But I'll probably turn it into some paper beads and turn them into bracelets to send into another cache. We also, halfway through, we went through all, finding all seven caches. There was a lot more than seven in the park, um, but they were definitely unique. Um, there was one that was a birdhouse. I won't give the other ones away. There was a really large one that was set up for weather-wise and won't get flooded. So it was really, really cool being a large um, geocache. You gotta look it up. But I have seven, half of them. We weren't able to sign because we forgot our pen at home, but halfway through finding caches, there was one with four pens in it, so we're like, we're trading for a pen. We need it. <laughs> so, tool not to forget. Um, 
now to oh <laughs> my two-year-old my girl made his own treasure <laughs> filled his pockets with rocks and so after getting down for down on the way home I had to go through the laundry and get dry clothes and emptied his pockets full of rocks. my daughter decided to collect as well um, some shells from next to the river believe it or not I did clean these up so these this is as clean as they get I don't know they might find their way elsewhere oh and we skipped missed the lunch we had a late lunch so they ate some of the wild grapes in the area my boys like that even though they were sour they didn't care here's some of the cat the swag that I have made but I'll probably just put them into my caches um there they are I'll probably put them in my caches when I do a maintenance on them real soon because they all need a good maintenance and like the other cat or like the other video I do some wood burning as well and here's some that are ready to be wood burned I did some sketching on them with some old cartoons there's um let's see if I can get it focused on there there we go um there's Dot from Animaniacs there's Rocket from Little Einsteins, Pikachu, Phineas, I think that one is from Phineas and Ferb, and who remembers that one? I don't remember. <laughs> it's uh, the Muppet Babies. It's been a while since I've seen that show. I almost forgot about it. And here's one that I have burned, and I have been putting, probably can't read it, you probably see it better on these ones. Here's some that I have burned, Bugs Bunny, Scooby-Doo. Uh, Fred Flintstone, Mickey Mouse, but I also put some tidbits on them as well. Just not, not a lot, just a couple little tidbits like years or who did the voice of and but I'll put those in, in some caches as well. Maybe in the maintenance caches, so keep an eye out if you like those. If you have a cartoon that... Oh, I almost forgot these. I also found... Scoop that up there. Some bouncy balls. And I found these in the, I don't think it was today, I think this was also in Happy as a Clam, some bumpy balls. Um, but we also brought a neighbor kid with us today. And he traded, put this in the geocache when he traded for a different item out of it. And my daughter liked it, so when she, see, when she seen him put it in there, she traded, put something else in there for it. So she gets this um, to do that. My husband, I think, just kept text me on another cache at night so we'll probably have to find a babysitter tonight but um yeah go ahead and comment let me know what you think and i will hopefully hopefully make another video soon we'll talk at you later bye